Welcome back, everybody, to some more Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Last episode, we pulled out the uh, Master Sword. And uh, we're sort of put in a stasis for seven years. We have just recently awoken and told to go to Kakariko Village, basically. Let's see if first we can stop at Lon Lon Ranch. You have $99 on me. Stopping at Lon Lon Ranch might be a good idea. See what's going on here. There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I the hard-working Ingo poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Sure. I'm not going to listen to any more of your crap, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so now let's do this song. There we go. Now we have Vipana. Now. Why didn't you jump that? There we go. Now, can I, do I talk to him? I Maybe. When you want to dismount, stop and press A. Hey, young man, do I know you? I just felt as though I've seen you somewhere before. I guess I wait for the time to be up. There's something to do with talking to him or something you trigger an event. We'll see, I guess. Okay, I only get I only get one coin for jumping that. Hey, time's up, young man. You only paid dead in rupees. You've played around long enough. Okay, wait. Let me try that again. Oh, I guess I do. I guess I do tell him I want to leave, maybe? Let's try getting this horse again. I'm with Asipana. Okay, let me try getting the coin. Look at the horse. Oh, that time I get a coin from there. There we go, there's my 10 rupees back. Now let me talk to him. Hey, 
You're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager. Say 50 rupees? Okay, here we go. This is what I was wanting. Now the trick is to never let it go below one. I like to keep two carrots. Oops. Now I'm gonna try and let more than one come back. Then if you if you keep two carrots, I find you have one in case of an emergency. Shoot! If the great Ganador found out about this humiliation, hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. This is what we're talking about. Oh, oh no. Got him. <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganador, but I bet it on a race and lost. Shoot! <laughs> As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Yeah, we'll see about that, won't we? I think we left. Bye bye. And now we got a horse. Now we can make our way to Kakarika Village. Oh. I don't have any way of dealing with you right now. Please go away. And now the funny thing is, we actually are going to have to do more racing. Okay. We shall be back. I will be right back, Epona. Look, that house is done that we saw them working on. It's a gambling house. Now. One of these. Oh. Okay, 
not that one. I think it I think it is one of these ones though. That I'm looking I'm looking for something in the grave. It's either this one of these ones or one of the ones down there. Can't quite remember. There we go. Don't have any bottles. Not any, not any free bottles anyway. Ah, here we go. Hey, <laughs> young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Now you gotta watch out for his um, fire. And of course, remember the thing that we learned, or I guess I mentioned in another episode? Oh shit. Is there's a temptation to roll a lot in this game? But actually, you go much slower if you roll. That is a trick. And I mean, it's much slower. It almost looks faster because when he first rolls, your speed seems to increase, but then there's a long pause of him not doing anything. Where he's basically like recovering from the roll. So your best bet is really to just run like this. Just the stick. The time of this race was one minute six seconds. <laughs> young man. You are very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hook Shot. Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I live here now, so come back again anytime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing, be careful on your way back. <laughs> Now we got the thing that we needed. So it works sort of like a boomerang, only it can also pull you to things. What that was saying. Now we go out this way. Oh yes, and we got the door of time here. See if I can remember the song. Hey. Here we go. Hey, this place is familiar. It's the windmill. Might as well grab this hard piece. Now this guy. I think I can do something with him now. Seven years ago. Grr, it's all that Ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. What? You got an Ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came and played a strange song. It messed up with this windmill. I'll never forget the song.
You mean this song, sir? Link the, Link the prankster. Confirmed. You've learned the song of storms. Actually, he's a longtime prankster passed down from generation to generation. Let's see what Navi's trying to say to us, for Christ's sakes. I wonder what's going on in the forest right now. I'm worried about Syria, too. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We're worried, we're worried. First off, I wonder if the Skultalas are still here. That family turned into monsters. I'm also wondering, remember there was that chicken? Oh, it just occurred to me that that last chicken we will probably have to get. He's just telling me if I get Skulltullos, I will get a prize. Apparently, I haven't helped one of these kids yet. How many Skulltullos do I need? If you break the curse on my family, we will make you very rich. Okay, so yeah, I'm realizing there's a guy there's a guy that sells beans. That's gonna be the only way I can get that last chicken for that lady, I think, as a kid. I think there's a there's there's a place to plant one of those things as a kid here, somewhere. Okay, so now, let's see if I can get up onto this roof. No, not quite close enough. Maybe if I go on this roof first. Can I really reach no, like, roofs here? What the heck? Oh, crap. Wow, oh, was my hook shot that terrible? Let's see if I can get to this roof. There we go. This one's accessible. There we go. Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. You got a piece of hearts. So far, you collected two pieces. Cool. And I, get, I probably can't reach there. There is a long shot. Yeah, because I still I can't reach that either. If anyone knows, do I get the long shot just from go from beating Dante in another race? Or is the long shot somewhere else? If it's just beating him in a race, I'll do that next time. I thought though he gave you a heart piece next time. I guess I could be wrong. But until then, let us make our way to the forest.
Epona being a girl girl still waiting for us. So let's go to Koriori Forest. And then at some point later we'll do the race against Dante again and see if that gives me the long shot or the um or heartbeat. He'll be back again. Well, there's monsters in here now. For the kids like that. Yes, thanks for the warning. Oh, he went right through my defense on that one shot. So the forest has gone nightmarish. Deku tree, still gone, of course. Place is just infested with enemies. Ow! That was mean. They all respawn. Oh, at least I got hearts back. seen you somewhere before, mister. Therium went to the temple and hasn't come back. Why is that fairy following you around? You're not one of us. I see. You didn't have any problems entering the forest, mister. Did the meanies out there bother you much? Before the great Deku tree died, you wouldn't see things like that around here. Since it's dangerous outside, I always stay inside my house, but I'm bored to death in here. It 
the great Dino tree withered, or meanies have been peering in the forest. I'm scared. An evil wind is blowing from the direction of the forest temple. Celia left, saying, I have to do something about it. The forest temple is located in the sacred forest meadow in the far side of the Lost Woods. Where's Saria? Do you know Saria, mister? That's weird. Where has Mido gone during such an emergency? Of course, Mido the Great Jerk is missing. Big surprise, right? Alright, let's make our way to the forest temple. And I will call the episode there, since, you know, we got Epona, we got her hookshot, now we're ready to start the dungeons. This is, it's sort of like one of the, one of those episodes from, uh, The Link to the Past, where we have, like, the gathering episodes, you know? And by the way, in case anyone's wondering, I will be doing the original Legend of Zelda. Uh, the reason I didn't do it first is because I wanted to do, like, games that I'm nostalgic for in chronological order because, of course, doing these recordings is as much for me as people watching. So I wanted to do the games I'm most familiar with, so for Mario, I started Mario back with the very original. But with Zelda, I didn't really play the original except for at a friend's house now and again. And mostly we just explored the overworld. We never really made it that far. So, uh, I will eventually do the original Legend of Zelda and I will put it in the proper order on the playlist. Before, so it'll come before A Link to the Past, which we which was recorded way before. What are you? Though you wear Koryorish clothing, you can't fool me. I promised Saria I would never let anybody go through here. Yeah, let's see. Do we remember? Nope, not that one. Okay. Oh. That one. It goes like that. I didn't exactly remember it, but I knew what the notes were. That melody! Saria plays that song all the time. You! Do you know Saria? That song! Saria taught that song only to her friends! Okay. I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, and I remember him. Oh, you mean that guy you were a jerk to? Seven years ago? Yeah, I wonder why you remember him. Whoop, almost went all the way back out of the forest there. Now the trick is they tell you you can listen for the music, which you can, but you can also tell like which ones you can travel through. See how that's perfectly black? And then there's the strange graphic quirk where if it goes somewhere, see it gets that white like tunnel looking thing to it. So all these ones, other than the one I came through, is going to be like that. So this one, I think this goes up into the temple. For some reason I remembered werewolves attacking me. From here on, we're going through some narrow passages. If you take it slow, maybe you can sneak up on some enemies. Use Z-targeting to always look in the proper direction. Set your view so you can see down the tor corridor before you turn a corner. Early days of 3D when they had to tell us um, how to look in a 3D environment. Luckily I had been playing some other 3D games on computer before this. But yeah. Now this guy, we can sneak up behind him a little bit, but if you get too close, he hears you. There. Jeez. <laughs> These guys always freak me out. Okay, he's coming towards us.
Which way are you going here, brah? Oh, he's still coming towards us this way. I think I can kill him. Yeah, okay, good. I guess if you sneak up on them and hit them, which does make a bit of sense. Make sure there's no one there. Okay, I think there's, this is, last hall, there's one of these charging guys. Now, I'm not sure how far this guy goes. If I can just make it to there, I'm good. Oh wait, okay, there's more more to the maze than I remember. I forgot about this square. And this guy, I think I can just get him. Whoa. There shouldn't, I don't think there's any on this side. Oh yeah, but then the next side, there's water. Trying to get up here can be a pain. Can't quite see. Oh crap! be able to climb up here and make this corner. Good. Now this guy. You just gotta go side to side. And there's one of the few instances where that roll is really useful. Just to get by him basically. You roll it like it, it doesn't make you go faster but it is a good dodge because what it does is allow you to go really fast in one direction. But then See the way he stops to get up? That's what slows you down when you're trying to run. And if you... The best way to time it is when you start from Koriori in the morning, just run to Hyrule Castle and you will make it before nightfall. If you roll the whole way there, chances of making it before nightfall are drastically reduced. <laughs> That's where she used to sit. Where are you, Sari? Saria? Not who we're looking for. The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the minute of the forest. Oh yes, these teleporting songs are less uh, repetitive, I guess, than the other songs. I always appreciated. <laughs> that was totally out of tune, but oh well. We're totally off rhythm, I should say. Not out of tune, the notes were proper. It was just way off rhythm. You have learned the menu of the forest. Larry. <laughs> Larry, see you again. <laughs> we know the trick about the Deku seeds, okay? Although she, although they do disappear quite well. Wow, this thing is short range. I did not remember how short this original hookshot is. But with that, we are actually going to end this episode right here. And in the next one, we will be delving into the forest temple. The first adult temple in this Zelda Ocarina of Time. Thank you all so very much for watching.